Hey guys, there's no such thing as x-ray vision, regardless of what you see in the movies, but x-rays can be used to make diagnostic images, and those diagnostic images provide a lot of benefit in terms of radiography, in terms of interventional, in terms of CT. These all provide significant benefit for the patients, and how they work is powered by an x-ray tube. So today we're gonna to be talking about that x-ray tube at a high level. How are the x-rays generated in that x-ray tube? This is specifically of interest for x-ray technologists and radiographers. So coming up, how does an x-ray tube work? So the process of making x-rays is actually very simple. In theory, what we do is we take electrons we get those electrons running really quickly, hit a heavy metal. So the idea of an x-ray tube is just how can we make that happen? How can we generate electrons? How can we get them from where they're generated to speed them up and run them really quickly into a heavy metal? And then out from that heavy metal is going to come x-rays. We're gonna talk more about the physics of how that happens coming up, but today we're just gonna talk about the idea of the x-ray tube where the electrons come from, and what's gonna force them to get pulled and run straight hard into that heavy metal. This is a schematic where you have a vacuum tube. So on, on the inside, there's a, a relatively good vacuum, and we have a filament here, and this is gonna be the source of our electrons. So we have a current that goes across this filament, and that filament current is used to heat this filament. So the way that we generate electrons is we heat this filament here, and then we essentially think about like boiling off those electrons, and then those electrons are negatively charged. So then we establish a potential, or a reason why the electrons wanna move, So we need to have a relatively negative charge here at what we call the grid plate, and then a positive charge at the anode. Again, this is also called the cathode, where the electrons come out, and the electrons are negative, and then they want to flow towards a positive. So that potential across there is called the KVP, and so if you think about the circuit that establishes that potential, the KVP is just like a potential in a battery, or if you're used to thinking of like a waterfall analogy, you can think about the height of the waterfall is the potential that that water has at the top of the waterfall. The same kind of thing is the KVP is the potential difference between the cathode and the anode. And the MA has to do with how many electrons are going to be passing through there. And so MA is milliampers, so that's the measure of the current. So in that waterfall analogy, it's how much water is coming down that waterfall. And the KVP is like the height of the waterfall. So the KVP in our system, we'll talk more in later videos about the methods of x-ray generation, but essentially the electrons will hit here and they'll hit a heavy metal and then photons will come out. So if you watch here, electrons are coming in and then photons are coming out in this direction. And that's how our x-ray beam is generated with a diagnostic x-ray scanner. Other things that are of concern is that this is going to get very hot from these electrons hitting. So in modern x-ray tubes, this is rotating. So this whole component is rotating. You can think about it rotating in and out of the out of this plane here it's rotating about some shaft down the middle here so that way the electrons aren't always hitting the same part of uh the anode they're hitting different parts of the anode the anode is also called the target because those electrons are directed at it and that way it won't heat that one area too much so you can see the idea of how to generate x-rays not so bad so cheers now you know how x-rays are made Give us a like and a subscribe below. So also head on over to howradiologyworks.com backslash x-ray gen. That's x-ray and then g-e-n for x-ray generation. You can download a PDF cheat sheet that has just in one place the information that you need about x-ray generation and the x-ray tube. Again, thanks again.